Hi. Last episode, I talked to you about how I linked pain to eating sugary foods and how the mind will take you away from pain and towards pleasure. So in this episode, I'm talking to you about how I used my mind to take me away from pain of exercise towards the pleasure of exercise. How basically I went from being a couch potato to an ocean swimmer. So in 2017, I was sitting on the couch every day, eating three to four ice creams a day. I would leave work, pick up my ice creams, go home, close the curtains, watch TV, movies, and just binge eat, and just feel really miserable and sorry for myself. And then I came across Marissa Peer, and I started to apply the principles that she talked about. And this principle is about the mind taking you away from pain and towards pleasure. And I realized I'd linked a lot of pain to exercise from injuries in the past, from just being overweight and not feeling confident in myself exercising, being in my togs or being in a gym class, feeling overweight and sweaty and horrible. And so I chose one aqua boot camp class a week. It was a class that was a mixture of in the water exercise and on the side of the pool exercise. And I started, I was weighing around 88 to 90 kgs at the time. And I started saying to myself, I love this. I love this. I'm choosing to do this and I'm choosing to feel great about this. I started linking pleasure to the exercise. So I started saying things like, I love it, I love it, I love it. And as I was exercising, I would do that. My alarm would go off at 5.30 in the morning. I would start saying, I love this, I want to do this, I'm choosing to do this, I'm choosing to feel great about this. And then I would go to the class, and while I was in the class, I'd be like, woohoo, yeah, this is awesome, I love it, this is amazing, I can do this, I want to do this, I love it, I love it. And yeah, I must admit, there were a lot of people looking at me like, woohoo, she's a bit cuckoo, but I was linking pleasure, I was showing my mind that what I wanted was to exercise. And how I knew that this had worked for me was one day, it was the middle of winter, my alarm went off at 5.30, it was cold, it was torrential rain on the roof, and it was really miserable, and I thought, you know what, I'm not going today. I turned off my alarm, I rolled over to go to sleep, and then my own mind said to me, what? Get up, Lorraine, you love aqua boot camp. Because I'd told my mind so much, I love it, I love it, I love it, this is what I want, that in that moment that I had where I was like, oh, I don't know if I can go, my mind, like a biofeedback machine, fed back to me what I wanted, took me towards that pleasure. And I found myself getting out of bed, putting on my togs, and going to the class and absolutely loving it. And that led to me then joining a swim squad, and now I'm about to go and sw swim three kilometers in the ocean. Like literally, I went from being 90 kgs, sitting on the couch, to now being an ocean swimmer, in the last kind of, you know, few, few weeks I've swum 29 kilometers, you know, over this time. This is something that I never would have been able to do. And some days I still have to dig deep and say, I love this, I love this, I want to do this, I want to do this. But I'm still training my mind to show my mind that this is what I want now. So yeah, I can do it. it, it link pleasure to the things that you want in your life. I link pain to the sugary foods that I no longer want to eat. And I link pleasure to exercise, walking, dancing, hiking, swimming. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it.